name's Nitra, and I can be childish at times. <laughs> I know. I just been balling out there season. Or some niggas I left in the I just been married to double cup. I got up on me and four inside another piece. Time to pass and then run it up. I got to put the bills inside of the piece. Back at the trap, I was dug in the deep. Dug in the birds, sitting out the meat. All of my diamonds gon' bust out the meat. I'm dripping water, nigga, I will feed him. Then that bitch kept in if she think I need him. Hit her one time and then I gotta leave him. I'm a real street nigga. Gotta guys. keep Welcome it back back with my feet. If you're new here, my name's Anitra. Hey, y'all. I just woke up, as you can tell by the voice. It's very deep. Um, but I'm about to get my day started. But I'm like, let me try on some stuff for you guys. Because um, it's daylight. So, I bought some stuff. I bought some stuff from Target. And... It came in one by one, so now that it's finally here, I wanted to try it on for you guys. Got some stuff from the Future Collective, uh, Kalana Barfield Brown. There she is, beautiful black woman. So there was like one thing that I really wanted from this collection, and it was this two-piece set, okay? It's this bra, well it's a shirt. And the shirt was there in my size that I wanted to get. I got it in a large. Hopefully, I didn't make a wrong decision. But I was like, I'm not getting it until this skirt is in my size. Like, I'm not going to just get the shirt and not get the skirt. So the skirt was not in my size. It was just not there. Well, this kind of looks... Okay. Hopefully this fits. Um, it was like out of stock. So you know how on the Target app, you can notify them to let you know when it's in stock. Sorry, when it's in stock, I did it and now I got the skirt. So I got the skirt and the sh shirt. The skirt is heavy. Um, let me put you guys down. I hope it fits the way that I want it to fit. It's cute. So we're gonna try this on first. And then I got, this was like an impulse one. Cause I saw somebody in my Target and my Target group, my Target Facebook group stays having me buy stuff. The girl bought it. She had, she was about my size. She had it in a large. So this is a large, but she had it on backwards. So this is the dress, right? And it's back, like it has a cutout right here in the back. But she had it on backwards. So I'm like, I don't know if that's going to look good. Only because now... This tag thing is right here. And it's probably going to have a mirror right here. And we shall see what uh, Miss Kalana Barfield Brown's collection is doing for me. I love this two-piece, though. This is what I really wanted. The rest of the stuff, there was like a leopard um, print cardigan that I want. But it still ain't in stock, babes. Oh, yeah, this is good. Let me try on the shirt. Hold on. I think this is cute. I really think it's cute. Let me take my hair down. <laughs> oh gosh, it's all tangled up. Let's see. Can you believe I kept a scarf on all night long? I can't believe it myself. Oh yes. Oh yes. I love it. And I live in California, so I'm going to be able to wear this during the winter, the fall, the spring, the summer. Like this is a all year long outfit so let me show you I don't know if you'll be able to see here but here it is oh it's so cute so here it is again this tops in a large and the skirt is in a extra large and it's like a sweater material it's heavy it's a sweater material oh, I think this is so cute and no I won't be wearing a bra with it cuz I mean but what but yeah I think it's so cute I think it's cute I think this is freaking cute now where I'm gonna wear it to I have no clue but baby this is cute I think this color looks so good on me okay next outfit okay you guys y'all 
this dress right here that I wasn't going to get. Oh, I love it so much. I love it so much. I put it on the right way. Let me show you. Let me bring it down. I don't have a bra on. I probably would wear pasties or something. I don't think I would wear like a full bra with this. Only because, I don't know. I don't like wearing bras. I'm just being honest. I don't like wearing bras. But here is the dress. Here is the back of the dress. I think it's so cute. I think it's so cute. It fits so good. This is an extra large. No. No, 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 no. I got it in a large. I got it in a large. This dress bomb. <laughs> okay. This dress is cute. Again, I live in California. This can be worn fall, winter, spring, and summer. Okay, let me show you in the mirror if you guys can get the good. I, I can't, it's so blurry right here. It's because I can't see. But hopefully it's not blurry in the camera. But look at this. Look at this freaking dress. It's kind of see-through. I have like white underwear on. But I'll just make a note of that when I do wear it. Oh my God. Oh my God. My booty's sitting real good. The stomach don't even look bad. This is the thing. Oh my God, this dress is bomb. I'm gonna have to take a picture and, and send it to the Target girls. I'm gonna have to send it to the Target girls. It don't have a split. I like stuff that don't have splits. When it has splits, child, mm mm. I mean, I'll deal, but this dress, Kalana. Kalana. Girls, is, is, that, is that her name? Was that, I'm, I'm saying her name right. Because I don't want to say her name wrong. Yes, Kalana. Kalana, you did it with this girl. Baby, I'm feeling myself with this dress now. I, I I like this more than I like the outfit that I wanted to get. And this was just like, oh, I like the way that dress looks on that girl. Let me order that. And they had it. And this dress was more in stock than that. People sleeping on this dress, baby. Go to Target app now. Because um, I ordered it online only because they didn't have the stuff in my stores. Like, the closest store they had it in was in Brea. And that's like an hour and 30 minutes away. I'm not, I'm not no, 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 an hour. Maybe like an hour, an hour away. I'm still not driving there for that. Okay? I ordered online. Because none of the stores near me, none of the Targets had the collection at all. But this is bomb. Baby. <laughs> I'm sold. Her next collection, because I'm sure she's going to have one, I'm buying more. I hate to say it, I like this stuff better than I like tab stuff. That tab with the brown stuff. So, remember I bought those green shorts. I need to actually take those shorts and get them altered. But because, I, for one, they're too long. I like my short to fit like mid-thigh, and they're kind of too long. Plus, you know how... I think, I want to say they're like linen because you know how you'll wear linen and as you wear it, it gets bigger. Well, I wore them when I was in Hawaii. When I put them on, they were kind of like a little loose. And I'm thinking maybe I was a little, little smaller than when I originally bought them. Because I wanted that collection come out in May. May -ish, I don't know. Anyway, I need to get them taken in because they're too big. But I love the, I love the pattern of those shorts. I love the style of them. I just want to make them a little shorter in the length and I want to bring in the waist. But this, ugh, perfection. Perfection. This dress is perfection. I love orange on me. Ugh, why did I not think of this? For, let me stop because I'm about to, it's, it's early. Um, I'm watching TD. He's almost over and then we're going to head to the gym. So, oh. I just want you guys to know that gas is $6.79 right now. I promise you, I just got gas. Um, when was it? Not this week, last week. I got gas at $4.99. A couple of days before that, I got gas. It was $4.79. And then I had to drive to LA real quick and come back, so of course my gas was gone. Two days later, it was at $4.99. Still cool. And right now it's $6.79. What is going on? What is going on? Oh, anyway. I'm on my way to the gym. I have my yellow uh, women's vest on. It's the first time I'm wearing it. My son was like,
like, where are you going looking like a banana? I'm like, shut up. Ah, oh, damn. I can't even live my life like it's gold. I'm looking golden though. Anyway, you guys, so have y'all got have y'all watched that Dahmer movie on Netflix? Well, I watched it like last week when it first came out. Right? But listen to this. This is what I'm not understanding about just the whole Dahmer thing. I'm so shocked that I get people like my son's age, he's 22, I get people in that age group not knowing the Jeffrey Dahmer story or not knowing the situation, and I get it for that, but if you are born anywhere before 1990, uh, I want to say 91, if you born before 91, how in the world don't you know? about the Jeffrey Dahmer story. Like, even if you were a small child, if you had some recollection, if you had some recollection of what was going on in the news, you knew about Jeffrey Dahmer. Even over the years, like there's, this is not, people are so upset because, oh, this should be, this is not the first Jeffrey Dahmer movie. There, there's been other movies, there's been documentaries, it's been on 2020 multiple times, Dateline, CNN, MSNBC, and all them other shows that be on MSNBC and CNN. So I'm trying to understand, are people just not, they don't watch the news? They don't watch, because I love like, listen, I'm a sucker for any documentary that's on CNN, MSNBC, I love 2020, I love Dateline, like those are my shows. But even if you don't watch them, how don't you know about I swear, the people on social media are in an uproar. And it's people that are like older, 30 plus, that are in an uproar. How don't you know about this story? Where have you been? I'm like, also my friend, I'm still confused as hell. People don't know about this. I don't under, I, this is not, <laughs> this is not the first documentary. It ain't the first documentary, the first movie, it ain't first nothing. They just brought it to Netflix and now people are in outrage. I can't believe this. What you can't believe? And then somebody was like, well, I learned about it years ago from when Martin, you know, Martin stand up. I want to say, I don't know what the, what the stand up show it is, but when he was talking about it, I remember that too. But even if you never saw the Martin thing, you you know national news. That was national news. How, what age was I? What year was that? So he was arrested in 1991. So that means I was 14 years old. I know about it. I don't, I don't know. I, I guess even, I just feel like if you were born even in the 90s, you should know about it because the documentaries and the movies have gone on for years. It's not new. I don't, I guess. I'm just, I just think it's weird that people don't know about this. I just, where have you been? Maybe because I'm like a murder mystery buff. I, I love stuff like that. Like, it, it's sad, but, you know, I like to watch stuff about that. So, child, he, he yeah, he ate all them people up. He killed them and ate them. know if it is a pre-workout if it's a combination of that with the l carnitine but baby let me tell you something and i'm not a sweater i don't be sweating that mess got me sweating sweating and i've only done well not only i did two sets of deadlifts and i did some hack squats baby i'm sweating i mean okay great but i don't really care to sweat i don't like it Look at my hair. Anyway, I think it's the L-carnitine to be totally honest. So if y'all want to sweat, get you some L-carnitine.
my natural hair trying to be natural right now. So I'm in a thrift store. I, this is my thing with the thrift store. I like the thrift store, but when people donate to thrift stores, like you have to be aware. <laughs> I look crazy. You have to like not donate crap, okay? Like some of your things can go in the trash. Some things can go in the trash. Like I'm gonna touch these, like these. Why you donate these? They're Jordans, but why did you donate them? They're raggedy. You wore them into the ground. Who's wearing them? No one. No one's gonna buy them. They're gonna sit there. No one's buying those. No one. Okay, anyway, let me look around. Here's another example. So this is a squirt, right? Let me show you what they did to it. And I'm trying to understand why they donated it. Look at it. So it's a squirt. And it looks like they never wore it. Route 66, isn't it like, um, Oh, Kmart, 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 okay. Um, did you not, could you not fit the shorts so you just cut, so you just cut, <laughs> so you cut the crotch out? <laughs> Why'd you donate this? Throw that away. I can't leave it. So look, I found a wand curl. I don't know if it, I hope it works, because I'm going to get it. $8. Let me see what else we got over here. Man, this is the stuff I care for. Little bitty blow dryers. Yeah, but I <laughs> found me a wine color. Hey, yay. I hope it gets hot enough. That's the thing. Oh, they got security in here. Okay, hey sir. I'm in a grocery store and That's his nectarines, right? Oh, it's too many bugs. See, this is why I'm getting them by. Those are obviously plums. Why is this so uh-uh? No thanks. I can't I can't do the I can't do the gnats. You know what I don't understand about when people grocery shop and you can't tell me nothing different. Like you cannot make you can't convince me of the reason why. When people bring the entire family to the grocery store. And when I mean like entire family, I mean like auntie, cousins, grandma. Not like little children, like the whole family. Why y'all at the grocery store? Get out the way. I'm literally in this store like willy nilly. Um, I came in here for some stuff so I could start juicing again because I haven't really been drinking juice in the last uh, month or so. So I came in here for that. I think I got those things. And then I got some bananas and some honeydew melon. But I don't know what else I need out here. I don't need nothing else. Cause I don't have a grocery list. So that means I'm, I'll just be buying whatever. And that's not what I want for my life. So let me go to the cash register. <laughs> Every time I get the desire to have Chick-fil-A, it is on a Sunday. Anyway, let me ask you guys. What, what your take on this is because I can be very petty sometimes and I'm really trying to grow out of this particular petty moment but it has me in a chokehold okay I I just can't I just can't so at the grocery store right you know when you put your stuff up on the on the conveyor belt the person in front of you puts their stuff up on the conveyor belt and they don't put the divider down right Feel like it is the person's responsibility to put the divider down if you don't put the divider down i'm not putting it down for you okay so what i'm going to do is put my groceries right there so when they when they go to start ringing up if they ring my groceries up i'm gonna just i, I literally sit there like this Should, is it right no it's not right it's, it's not right at all but i feel like why did you not put the divider up did you forget that ain't my job. I think that's going to teach them to put the divider up next time with the next person. Like, is it right? No. It's very petty. It's childish. But put your divider up. Do you guys put your dividers up? If you don't, you should. You should. Even if there's nobody behind me, I'll put the divider up. Because you don't know who's about to walk up. 
I'm not gonna do your job and mine. We have a job when you put your stuff on the conveyor belt. There's a job. You put your groceries, you put the divider. Hi, my name's Nitra, and I can be childish at times. Oh Lord, I'm about to get to this house. Child, I need to lay down, okay? I need to shower and lay across the bed cat corner because I am like exhausted. Those deadlifts took everything out of me. It was heavy today, and I usually deadlift that amount. It's like 135 pounds, which is light to some people. But um, today was very heavy for me. I don't know why. I was, I was in there like, oh. It's okay, so real quick before I go in this house. So, y'all know how I love TD. I am a member of the Potter's House as far as I'm concerned. Okay, I'm a member. So, of course, last week was Women Thou Art Loose conference, right? And so it was the last, before this conference, he announced it was the last one. Like, dang, I didn't get to any of them. But he ended up passing the torch to his daughter, Sarah, right? Well, after he passed the torch, you know, I'm like, okay. First things first, let me not. I'm, I'm, I hate to like say, I don't want to be judgy, but I'm going to say this. The entire time I was talking, I was, I wanted to know, you know, if you watched it, when he was talking to her, she had the, the crying face. Like she was like this the whole time, but there was no, there's no crying. There was no crying. It was just the crying face, like the, the theatrics of it all. And I was just like, where's her tears? Like the entire time, where's her tears? But of course, TikTok, TikTok says that is like, child, tell me what y'all thought about that. I, I don't know if they were saying, <laughs> people on there saying that it was like, you know, people be talking just to be talking, talking sometimes. They're saying that he like sacrificed her and I'm like, what child, what? I don't, I don't want to believe that. Now, I do believe in the Illuminati. Don't get me started on Illuminati. I can go on and on and on about the Illuminati. I believe in it. But I don't, I, I'm just hoping and praying TD, TD ain't did that to his daughter. But I, what I do know for sure is, um, she was, she had the crying face with no tears. Then, where was the tears, Sarah? Where was the tears? I gotta watch it over because, <clears throat> This one guy on TikTok broke it all the way down. And I was like, I don't want to believe it. So maybe I don't want to watch it over. But today's sermon, I watched some of it. And it was good. Shoot. TD know how to preach. Okay. Hey, y'all. Happy Wednesday, Wednesday. I just came home very, very quickly because I forgot to bring my lunch. So I came home to warm it up. So I'm having, let me show you what I have real quick. It doesn't look the best, child. It don't. This is six ounces of ground turkey with onions. And then this is about, ooh, I don't know how much. I can't remember the ounces, but I did measure it out evenly. And that's just red potatoes with some onions and bell peppers. But that's just all I had. I, was, I wanted to put some vegetables with it, but I ran out of vegetables. I don't, so this was my vegetable. I mean, that's all I could get in. But this is my lunch. I made this juice last night. This is ginger, apple, spinach, lemon, and I had some grapes left over that I didn't want to go to waste, so I juiced that in there too. So, yeah, I just wanted to pop and say hey. After work, I got to go and pick up my Manjaro. My next week is my five milligram, and I'm so excited because I'm like hoping for weight loss with this one because I was on the lowest do it don't I was on the lowest dosage, which is like a therapeutic dosage, and that's just to get you accolated with the drug. But I start five milligram next week. The CVS told me it is ready to pick up. Also, yesterday, so you guys saw me when I took my last 2.5 shot in the vlog. Actually, I posted it today. So if you haven't watched the last vlog, go ahead and watch it. But I give myself my last 2.5 milligram shot, baby baby let me tell you something that was monday remember i was telling you guys like in the last in the last vlog like the symptoms that i was having was back pain when i tell you on did it start monday night it literally started like right before i went to sleep the back pain and child tuesday i couldn't even go to work that was yesterday 
it seems like it's further in the week yesterday I, I could not even go to work my back was hurting so bad last week it was hurting like overnight and then when i woke up the next day it was fine but yesterday i was down for the count also i was so sleepy so i literally slept all day yesterday all day my back was hurting by maybe 12 o'clock i was fine but i was exhausted so i'm like man maybe i need to like change my injection day to like friday or a weekend so because i don't want to have to be at work suffering like my back still has the tinge listen i don't got time for the <laughs> i don't got time for the pain so um <sighs> I thought the back pain last week was because I gave myself the injection in my stomach. So I'm like, oh, it went from my stomach to the back. No, I gave myself the shot in my thigh this time. Oh, and then yesterday I was nauseous as well. So, oh, Jesus, I don't, I just want to lose weight, okay? I don't need all these other things. So I'm like, if this is 2.5, I'm praying that I lose weight. And that I have no symptoms with this five milligram because I was down for the count yesterday. But I feel so much better today. Um, I made this juice last night. I was so I, I was like I need all the all the wholesome foods in my body. So I made some juice last night. I made this meal prep last night, and I ate some of that. But I was just like, oh, just just heal me, Lord, just heal me. I, it was that bad. But anyway. medication um, I've been seeing like on the Facebook groups that people have been having issues with the coupons I guess they they changed the coupon and some pharmacies are giving people a hard time with it or not but I come to CVS and they already have the coupon on my record so I didn't have an issue with it. The the pharmacist just came out this time to ask. He was like, oh, the pharmacist wants to ask you a question. And I was like, okay. I'm thinking the man's going to ask me, are you diabetic? And I'm like, mm -hmm. yep. But no, he was, he asked me, I just want to make sure you're not taking, because this is an increased dose. I'm on five milligrams now. <laughs> He's like, um, why was I going to lie to that man? I just thought about that. <laughs> oh, God. Anyway. He said, oh, you're on increased dose now. And I'm like, yes. He said, I just want to make sure you're not taking this dose with the 2.5 that you were already on. And I'm like, no, honey, the way that I was feeling on 2.5, I dare not take these both together, okay? I dare not. So he was like, okay, just making sure. And he went back about his business. But I have a new one. The new box is here. They have it in the fridge, of course. And here we go. Five milligrams to be started um, next Monday. Now, I'm going to research if I can change the days, move it up a day or two, if that would affect, affect me. Because I want to see, I want to move it because ugh, doing it on Monday and then having to go to work the next day like physically get up not working from home physically leave the house no then they gave me all you know if you go to CVS they print all these extra care books and these coupons and I used to be a couponer FYI just fun fact I used to be a couponer like I used to have a before I moved to this house I had a different I had like a town home and in the garage it had like a like shelving and stuff where I can put all my coupon stuff. Girl, I had 
toothpaste, all kinds of stuff for days. Toilet paper, um, paper towels, um, laundry detergent. I had it for years. I kid you not, I still have razors. And the last time I last time I coupon was probably in shoot, it's probably been like a good nine, ten years, and I still have razors, but. I, I don't know if I want to use them. I still be buying the razors. But anyway, in my little stash. So they gave me two extra care bucks. And then they gave me all these other coupons. I just put them on my car on my app. But I was like, oh, let me do this deal since I'm in here. So pretty much it's like um three dollars off of ten three dollars off ten dollars of Colgate toothpaste, toothbrush, and mouthwashes. So you can never have enough teeth products right so I got some toothpaste I got some um, Colgate um, gum health because I have crowns and I'll be worried about my gums and then I got a new toothbrush so I paid for these I got three dollars off and then I had a manufacturer's coupon on there for a dollar off of this so how much did I pay for this stuff actually? let's add it up oh that was a thing so I got this coupon right and then when you shop, it says if you buy any two of these, you get $5 extra care bucks. So then I got $5 back. But let me see how much I essentially paid for this. All these parking spots and you park right here. Child, what? Oh, anyway, let me mind my business. People weird to me. I don't understand. I never understand. Why is she out here with her booty cheeks out? Gross. Gross. You should have been trying to park over there since you want to cover up your ass. Keep pulling down the shorts. Nasty. Okay, anyway, let me mind my business. $3 off of that. So $8.97. And then I got $5 back. So with the $5 back, essentially I paid $3.97 for all of those because I got $5 back that I could still spend in there. And then I had $2 extra care of them. So. I put my two dollars towards that so then if i take off the two dollars i pretty much paid a dollar 97. you know i don't know i like to shop at cvs because they be having coupons girl i still have one right here for four dollars off 15 of cvs health um cold cough flu or immune immunity products and i can go in there and that this this expires when though the 12th so what i'll do is I'll, if i want to i'll go on the app see what i want to buy because you can scan this and it'll show you the stuff that's under it they make couponing so much easier now child it used to be kind of hard it was a job okay so now i got five dollars reward bucks back then i have two dollars off two hallmark cards and then i got fifteen dollars off a thirty dollars crest whitening kits and treatments and you know those kits can be like expensive so $15 off is good or oral or oral B power toothbrushes ah when this expire the 12 2 shall I, I might be back couponing is 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 a lot but it's fun and it can be addictive as well because you be like I only paid that man it's good stuff I used to love it but it got a little bit much so anyway back to my music drinking my oxy shred this way today I posted that video or I posted like a snippet of that video um on my Instagram one of my friends was like friend don't dry scoop that because it can give you a heart attack and I'm like but it's not pre-workout it's fat burner 
And she was like, oh, okay. But then I thought about it. I'm like, let me drink this. So I'm drinking it. It don't taste the best right now because I just brushed my teeth. So we're actually, where is my retainer? I want protein coffee so bad. Or I just want coffee, the coffee, the taste of coffee. But I told myself I was going to actually fast all the way through today because lately I haven't been fasting till noon because of some days I just wake up hungry or I just want the taste of coffee and um, I don't drink black coffee. It's a, I'm not doing that. I'm going to have all the fixings. So today I'm going to fast. It's, it's I'm going fast. So I'm about to go to the gym. So um that's what I'm drinking this and I'm about to drink my pre-workout, but I'm going to drink this, get dressed so this can have some time to kind of settle before I drink my pre-workout. Let me tell y'all something about this pre-workout right here. You want something to get you going? You want something to get you going? This is the first time I bought, I think they called Bucked Up too, because I, I recognize that, what is this? What is that, a deer? An ant? What is it? What animal is that? I don't know. Um, it gets you going, okay? So, it, it gets you going to the point of even when I'm leaving the gym, I can still feel, feel the tingles. But it doesn't give you that itchy feeling that I don't like. You know, like C4 gives you that itchy feeling. I'm like, y'all got too much of the ingredient with the itchy feeling in there. So, this will get you going. Let me, this and this here L Carnitine. I just bought some new, some more you're gonna be in there going matter of fact let me finish putting the rest of the stuff in my so in my bcaa's i put my glutamine so this helps with muscle recovery and bloating as well um i feel like it does work um it says to take one to two one to two times a day and on days that i feel like i'm so sore i will take it a second time but usually I just take it with my um, BCAAs and then I put my creatine in with my pre-workout. Let's talk about the Manjaro real quick. So with the Manjaro, y'all, I've been feeling really, I don't know where to put y'all. I don't have my tripod. There's y'all Oreo content. I know some of y'all love to see Oreo. Say hi, fluffy, fluffy. <sighs> Okay, bye. What was I saying, child? I see. See? You know what I really need to buy is some Ginkoba or something for like memory. Because it's not, it's a no for me. I can't, I can't live like this. Y'all be all over the place. My mind is just not settled. Oh, I was going to talk about the Manjaro. Baby, Manjaro. Back to the pharmacist asking me about, am I gonna take this and the 2.5, the five milligram and the 2.5? Child, no. Okay, the 2.5 had me on my ass. I would dare not take it with the five milligram. Now, I know that after the five milligram is 7.5, but I gotta work myself up to that. Definitely not taking a five milligram shot and then a 2.5. And I'm just coming from 2.5. That would be crazy. No, sir. That back pain? No joke. Siri, call mom. I'm about to call right now. Child, it's early. She's going to be like, oh, she be calling me at the crack of dawn. So, tip for tap, baby. Hey, you up? Hey, I thought I woke you up. <laughs> Do I had back pain? Mm -hmm. um, last week and I had it this week too. I had it on Tuesday so bad I didn't go to work. I couldn't even move. That's why I ain't hear from you. Uh uh. Back on back on fire. Not on fire. I just couldn't move. It was hurting so bad. But I feel better today. Like nothing ever happened. Mm. Like yesterday I was just like, okay, I was still kinda tired, but today I'm like, oh, hello. All right, so I need to pick up my outfit. Um, today at the gym, I don't know what I'm doing. I, it's either going to be 45 minutes of cardio or um, arms, which is like chest and arms. 
So that depends on how I'm feeling when I get in there. Um, so do I want to wear shorts? Siri, what's the weather? Child, it's going to be 90 degrees. Ugh, I'm over this damn heat. I swear. I'm not even lying to you. I'm over it. Shit. <laughs> I'm tired of this fucking heat. I think I'm going to wear this long sleeve. Athlete shirt. It's a crop top. I like wearing crop tops because it makes my waist look like it's, you know, a little snatch, a little more snatched than usual. And then I'm going to wear some shorts. Now, do I want to wear, oh God, let me tell you a conversation I had. Somebody asked me why I wear these booty scrunch, booty scrunch pants, shorts, whatnot. Okay. A male, of course, and he was like, why do you wear those to the gym? Like, what do they do for you? Like, what do they do for you? Like, who are you trying to be in there? It's not for anyone else. I just like these because they make me feel like something. Like, I don't know. They make me feel some type of way, and I like it. I don't see what the problem is. It's like, what do they do for you? Why are you wearing it at the gym? Cause like you should be at the gym looking like a bum. Well, my head looks like a bum. My 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 hair is gonna look like a bum, but I don't want to look like a bum. Mm -mm. What's the moon? I'm back home, took my hair out because I'm about to wash it. I have Olaplex right here in the middle, but I'm about to eat my meal prep. One thing I know for sure is I season this meat to perfection, baby. It's good. But I want like media tacos and all the Mexican food. That's what I want. But I did get me an acai bowl from Nectar, so I'll show you guys that in a minute. But I came home, I've been home. I've been home for a while and it was working and I'm about to um, eat this in the shower. Okay, I just took, I put it in the freezer when I got home, but let's get it out. So here it is, a nectar acai bowl. Let's see if I can get it with this hand. It smells so good. Kind of frozen at the top. Um.
lighting is decent enough for you to see me, but um yeah. Um so I was about to go to the gym and my cousin, I literally was at the gym about to get out the car. My cousin called me um, and I had to leave to drive out to LA to see my aunt. Um, she's having some medical issues and I had to drive out there to see her and to talk to her. Um, it's just, you know, it's just, it's just hard to see people that took care of you, that nurtured you, and took you everywhere you needed to be, you know, your elders. It's just hard to see people that took care of you get older. It's just hard to see them get older and go through things that, you know, It's crazy. So essentially, you know, they took care of you and now you have to take care of them. So I had to go out there to LA and um, see her and talk to her. And it's just, it's heartbreaking. This is my aunt on my dad's side. Um, my dad has three sisters. My dad passed away and two of my aunts have passed away and she's my last living aunt on my dad's side. And I'm really close with that side of the family. <sighs> so, it's just hard to see her like that. Y'all had a long day, a long rough day, but um, she's okay now, but there's still some things that need to be taken care of. But anyway, I'm just gonna end the vlog here. I'm sorry that it just ended abruptly, but I think it's long enough anyway. Um, thank y'all. I'll talk to y'all soon.